now that turkey season is over, for me anyway, I want to do a review on this boot. This is called Light Boots. Um, I wanted to wait till the season was out, wear this boot through the season, and, and kind of give you my thoughts on it. The main reason I bought this boot, besides comfort, is we were flying out, Stephen and I, to Washington and Idaho to hunt. We flew to Washington. So I wanted a boot that I could put in my carry-on that wasn't heavy, that was would weigh, you know, weigh hardly anything, and that's what this was. So I was able to put it in my, uh, actually put it in my check bag, not my carry-on, and stuff some socks and underwear and things down in it that way to save room. And I think they're 13 ounces each, so they're, they're really, really light, hence the name. And I wore this boot, and I really, really like this boot. I don't have anything much negative to say about this boot besides the bottoms of them. You know, kind of, if you're walking through some brush and things, they can kind of get punctured, and you'll feel that come through your boot. That's really the only drawback to it. But when I was in Nashville, I actually tried this boot on in Nashville before I bought it at the NWTF show. I was walking by the booth, and, and the guy there working said, hey, try our boots on. And I'm like, man, I'm telling you, like, rubber boots just don't fit me, especially if they don't have a neoprene. I said, that just don't work for me because I'm a heavier guy and I'm shorter. My calves won't go down in them. And he's like, well, wait a minute. We have a wide calf boot. Try it on. Tried it on. I was able to get my feet down in it with with my pants on fold my pants over stick my feet down in it no problem pulling the boots off no problem easiest boot i've ever had in my life to get on and off i was like man i want a pair of those but i had ordered a custom-made pair of boots and paid way up there for and i'm like well i don't want to buy another pair of boots when i just did that but when i got home learned we were going to washington I said, well, I'm gonna buy those to take to Washington. But the thing is, I wind up wearing these just about the entire season. I only wore my custom boots like one day or two days. Wore these just about the entire season. Put them through the mill, really liked them. I'm gonna show you some footage, show you some things about the boot, me using the boot, and then we'll come back and I'll, I'll kind of discuss what I liked and if I didn't like anything about it. With this wide cap, they're bigger here. I've never been able to just slip a boot on. So if you have big calves and have trouble, see my calves are I'm short, real short, so the boots come up to my knees. Never been able to just, you know, slip a boot on or neoprene. I can fold them over, tuck my pants down in there and then roll them back up with these. No problem whatsoever. And my pants are not pushed up, you know, they go down inside real good. I'm just telling you only thing I'm kind of worried about and that's how they're easy to get on is in the ankle you have a lot of room here because it's more like a straight shaft but it is kind of something I'm going to worry about because see what they do when you're bending them I don't know how if that's going to last if it's going to get a memory to it and that's the only thing I'm worried about is how's that going to perform over time when walking in heavy terrain of course or sitting down when you're turkey hunting with your foot bent like that. But, I mean, these are just super, super, super comfortable. Um, other thing I worry about is walking. I'm wondering if I'm gonna have so much room in the ankle that my foot's gonna slip around a lot in the boot and, you know, maybe rub a blister. I don't know. We might wear them, test them out before turkey season to uh, see if it's what I want to fly with to Washington. Day, I don't know what day it is wearing these boots and I've got a little wear on them. So far they're holding up good and comfortable. As you can see, they've quite a bit. The thing is, I think they're pressing in, but they're still real comfortable. I figured I would give these boots the high weed contest. What I mean by that is when you're walking through weeds that are real high, you know, they tend to uh, get your feet wet. Now I figured these boots 
would do a little bit worse just because they've been poked and punctured by some stick ups. Uh, what I mean by stick ups is, you know, if you have fields that have been cut and things like that, you have these stick ups. And actually, walking out of here, I just had a heard something, you know, making noise on my boots. And I looked down, and one of the sticks was actually broke and sticking in my boot, and I had to pull it out. So, but surprisingly, my feet are still pretty dry. They're a little damp, but I think it's just where I've been sitting in the uh, rain all day and uh, maybe sweat. I mean, they're they're not completely dry, but they're a little bit dry and. These weeds I've been walking out here are pretty tall, so they do pretty good. I didn't get to test these out in, uh, I didn't get to test these out in like a creek because I didn't have to cross any creeks this year. Uh, didn't really hunt where a lot of creeks were, and it was dry up until today. A lot of my hunting season, but let me show you real quick these weeds, how high they are here. So that's the kind of stuff I've been walking through. And as you can see, the ground's pretty saturated because it has rained all day. And my feet are, I'm not gonna lie to you, they're a little damp, but they're not soaked. Not really what you call wet, just maybe a little damp. So that last part of that video, walking through the wet grass, and actually after I got home and, and you know, took my boot off I, my feet didn't get wet i think it's where i'd sweated a little bit that day and my, my socks were a little bit damp but surprisingly and you can see what i'm talking about where these stick ups that's why i thought my feet might get a little damp because at times where these boots have been punctured i thought maybe some water was going to seep in through here but and and you can see what i'm talking about uh, how they'll get punctured and uh, but my feet were not wet uh, i think the damp i was feeling was from the sweat uh, where I'd sweated and walked around a little bit that day. These boots, I wore them just about every single day turkey hunting. And I was really happy. Um, if I had to take the negatives, the only negative thing is if you're walking through some, uh, you know, fresh bush hog ground or some briars that have been mowed over or knocked down or some sharp stick ups, they can puncture your feet and, and you'll feel it sometimes. Um, as far as rocks, I didn't have any problems at all with mud, rocks, creek, the, the tread on them. I didn't have any problems sliding. They were getting up hillsides real easy. Um, so I didn't have any problems with the tread. Uh, the positives on these are the comfort is the main thing. Like I said, where I'm short and a heavy set guy, I really have a problem finding boots to hit, boots that fit me in the calf. Now these are the wide calf. These fit amazing to me, and I have a real hard time getting boots to fit. So the positive is the comfort, the weight. I think they're the lightest boot made. I think uh, the value. They're not expensive. They're fairly inexpensive. The waterproof. They're waterproof. Um, didn't have a problem getting wet. They're just great. I mean, uh, there's very little negative things I have to say personally for the meat. Now, are these a boot that you're going to go five miles deep in and, and some real, real rough terrain? I don't know. That would be up to you. But for hunting, if you're just going to a blind, a real simple walk to a blind, or you're hunting some flat ground that's not real, you know, doesn't have a lot of rough terrain, you, you will not beat this boot. The comfort is there. Just everything about this boot I like. Um, actually, even for not hunting, this boot would be amazing for like a, a fishing trip where you're kind of getting in some little bit of water or uh, chores every day. You know, if you're doing like weed eating at the house or, you know, getting out working in the yard where they're easy to get on and off. Just a good winter boot for the snow if you want something to wear around and travel uh, in their snow on the ground you don't want to get your feet wet they would they would be a great like what we call a chore boot just everyday use as far as household chores to me they're a great hunting boot so but the boot's called light 
Look them up, L-I-T-E, light boots. Um, call them, they're real nice guys. I called them when I ordered these, they were real friendly to me. I think they've got a black and a green. They do have a pair of socks I think you can order with these boots. I would maybe wind up ordering a pair of their socks and trying them, but really, really pleased with this boot. And I've not heard many people at all or read a lot of negative reviews. You, you'd be surprised. Uh, if you wear Crocs, it's about the same as a Croc, but in a boot. So light boots, look them up. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it made your mind up. If something happens to these, I'm ordering another pair. So thank you for watching. Order you a pair of these. I mean, you can spend the money. They're not expensive. Try them out. If you don't like them for hunting, at least you got something to wear around the house and do some work in. Thank you for watching.